Looking for a reliable wireless bridge to connect your security cameras? TP-Link radios have you covered. These radios are extremely easy to pair, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'll walk you through the process of pairing the access point and clients for both point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point wireless connections. As you can see, there's a wide assortment of TP-Link radios to choose from. Today we'll be setting up the Faro CPE 510s, but the process we'll be going over can be used to pair all of the radios you see here. Hey guys, it's Matt from Nelly Security here. Before I show you how easy and straightforward the setup process is, let's go over these radios real quick. For a point-to-point -point connection, you will need two radios. One radio will be our access point, or AP for short, and the other radio will be our client. The AP will act as our transmitter and will be the device that is directly connected to our local network. The client will act as our receiver and will establish a wireless connection from the AP. For a point-to-point -point connection, only one AP and one client is required. But for a point-to-multi-point connection, you will need one AP and multiple clients. One thing to note is that when setting up these radios, you need to make sure that there is no obstruction of view. Wireless bridges need a clear line of sight in order to work. Okay, now that we got the basics down, let's go ahead and set up the AP and client. Okay, we have the two Pharaohs CPE510 radios here. One will be our AP and the other is our client. Out of the box, you get the radio itself, a passive PoE adapter, otherwise known as the injector, a power cord, pole mounting straps, and the installation guide. For the most intuitive and efficient way to set up the radios, we recommend you unbox all of the radios and plug the injectors to power outlets. Connect the radios via ethernet cables to the PoE port on the injector for power. A tip to keep everything organized is to take a sharpie and mark AP and client on the respective radios so you know which is which. The first radio you should set up is the AP. Connect an ethernet cable to your router slash PC to the LAN port on the injector. Now from your computer, change the PC IP address to 192.168.0. Put whatever you want there. Changing the IP address to a .0 .network will make it easier to connect to the radios. Next, hop onto the browser and type in the default IP address of 192.168. 168.0.254 in order to access the radio. Once on, the default login will be admin admin and agree to the terms of use and you're in. Next, you'll be prompted to change your username and password for better security. From here, click on quick setup. Select access point and set your custom IP address. This could be anything, but we recommend 192.168.2.200. This address will be out of the way of typical IP schemes to prevent any IP conflicts. Subnet will be 255.255.255.0. Changing the SSID isn't mandatory, but it will help you recognize the AP if you have a lot of APs in a single location. Make sure to enable max stream, and there you go. Once this is done, the AP will change to the new IP address. Now let's set up the client. Since we're just setting up a point-to-point -point connection, we have one client. But when setting up a point-to-multi-point -point connection, the process will be the same with the only variations being the changing of the client IP addresses. The next step is to unplug the ethernet cable from the LAN port on the AP injector and move it over to the client injector. We wanna keep the AP powered on, so don't touch anything other than that. Use the same default IP address from before. Enter the default login of admin admin, change your password. When you're in, go to quick setup and choose client. Change the IP address to 192.168.2.201. Every client you add after this one will follow the range, for example, .202 or .203, etc., etc. Now select survey, then check mark the AP's SSID. And there you go. Remember to change the PC's IP address back to normal to regain internet connection. Your AP and client are connected and ready to be installed. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like security content, why not join our community and subscribe? There's really no one like Nelly Security on the platform. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.